Welcome back folks to a brand new how to build. So today the format will be a bit different. I really couldn't be bothered to actually film the how to build. I just really got bored with it. Um, I will still be doing more normal how to builds though. So today will be kind of a combination of like instruct of an instructions video and a how to build. So let's get into that. So I'm just going to start with my normal how to build format, which is just showing off the robot and then getting into the materials that you will need. So let's get into the robot. So here we have Sir Killa. I'm pretty happy with it. The claw's kind of useless, but other than that, I'm really happy with it. Okay, so you will need, for this robot, you're going to need, these are three instructions. So there are three, um, there are three papers, which you will find in, um, you find links for in the description below. You're also going to need, um, you're also going to need a pair of scissors and the ruler. Um, of course, all of these are in centimeters, by the way. A blue marker as well. Um, a pencil for, they get, well, you're going to want a darker blue marker. Um, you're also going to need one of those, or a compass, but I just used pencil and then blue marker over it, gave it a darker blue color, more similar to Sir Killalot's color. Whatever material you want, card or cardboard works fine. I'm using corrugated cardboard because that's what I have on hand. You're going to need some Legos for the uh, lance. So, I'll explain more about that later. What else? Um, you're going to need a stick. That's going to be for the arms. As you can see, that's going to be able to make the... That's so that you can move the arms. Um, you're also going to need a black marker pen. Pencil sharpener. Um, a bronze marker for the back. I'll show you in that minute. In a few minutes. Um, bronze marker. What else? Some tape. And I believe that's about it. Fairly sure that is about it. So, on to the next part. So here you have your material. So you're gonna just copy your instructions onto whatever material you're using, like cardboard, cardboard, or card. So you have your base. So this is the base. Um, hopefully that makes sense. And then you have these like little tr kind of like panels above. Hopefully you can see those. They're on the instructions, by the way. Then you're also gonna want um, this like panel over here. That one's I believe is by as um, three by eleven. It's right here on the pan. It's right here on the thing. So three by eleven. That's one of those. The other two you're going to use for the sides of the robot. Hopefully that makes sense. Yep, the side. There's also a panel on top there. Hopefully you can see that. It's gonna be like eight by eleven, I believe. Basically the same, just without the bot, without like the bottom push part of the base. So now you're also gonna need these like um side panels. So these side panels for the tread, I guess you can call them. That you're gonna need two of. You're gonna need four of those. And then for the top, if you take a look at your instructions right now, you can see these two really long panels. Those two you're going to combine together, and you're going to create those, and then you're just going to bend them around your track and tape it onto the track. So then you'll have two tracks, and then you'll just tape them onto the robot. Well, first, you're just going to tape onto the bottom of it onto the base. So you're also going to want this top panel, as you can see right here. Um, like so, eight by I believe one and a half centimeters. Then you're also going to have this back panel, which is three by eleven. And then over here you have um, about like three inch, about three centimeters inwards. You're going to attach a one and a half by eleven centimeter, like, no, by eight centimeter panel, which will attach. And then you just take this eight by eight panel on the top, which you're going to just kind of bend it inwards, and that should go at an angle. And then tape over the top so that you can fully attach your tracks on. So hopefully that makes made a sense. Next up, you're going to want to take your instructions, and we'll take a look at it right now. So right now, you're going to want to take um, this large panel on. Now this panel, you're going to attach to the very front of the robot, like so, as you can see, hopefully. So that very large panel, you're going to want to attach to the front of the robot. Um, you're also going to have this so back panel, as you can see. Now this back panel is also on the instructions. It's about like eight centimeters tall, I believe. And the other one's 10 centimeters tall, I believe. So yeah, this 8 centimeters one is not as tall, but still fairly tall. So you're going to attach that one on top. Or it's maybe a bit shorter. Anyway, then there's this panel, which hopefully you can understand where this one, which this one is uh, on the top. And then these two little triangles, as you can see on the instructions. So yeah. So then here you have these two panels. I forgot to mark that, but yeah, two of those, you're gonna need two of those, as well as two of those. Of course, one of those will be reversed from the other. And then you're just going to attach them on, as you can see here, 
So that one going inwards. And then the right angle of the triangle. Sorry if you can't see that. The right angle of the triangle should pay, be facing outwards. And you're just going to attach it on as well to, this to these bottom panels. Okay, so next up, you're just going to want to take this panel. So this panel, um, you're going to bend at the sides, as you can see. And then you're going to make it go up all the way to one half centimeter. So it should go upwards to one half centimeter upwards, outwards, sorry. And it's going to bend at the side, so then it's going to out, go out. Hopefully that makes sense. Like so. Um, then you're going to attach this panel, which should go from the very top of the robot all the way and meet the... Um, Bait that little like middle area at the center of those what one half centimeters tall and then those two panels you're just going to attach to the sides um basically on top of the middle panel hopefully that makes sense and then you're also going to have a tiny little circle hopefully you can see that sorry if you can't see it too well but there's a tiny little circle that you're also going to attach on top and between the little um panels like i'm showing here that little circle you're going to take one of those and you're going to attach it in between the two panels. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so next up are these two panels. Now these two panels are farther up. Sorry if you can't really can't see that. Um, and then there's this little panel, these two little panels. One of them is going to be reversed. Hopefully you can see those. Those ones are going to be farther up. I'll show you in a minute what it looks like. Sorry if you can't see that. Um, one minute. So yeah, um, the little top panel, as you can see, those go across the sides. And then these little ones extend inwards, as you can see. And as I was saying, the little circle right there. So now you're going to take um, this panel on the top seven by three centimeters. Oh, actually, no, we're going to start with this one because that makes more sense. Never mind. So this one with the base of seven centimeters and then three, um, three in the... It was a semicircle, basically, seven, seven centimeters across and three centimeters outwards. I forget what the name of that. It's half of diameter, so, yeah. Anyway, yeah, you're just going to attach those from the, like, two sides. And then take your seven by three panel. So on mine, it's, like, different looking, but it should just basically go across from the, um, from the back panel all the way to the front panel. It should just go across like so. Of course, the half semicircle should attach just, like, at the right point. Um, of the back panel hopefully that makes sense and then attach this little on um, then attach your sticks which you just cut cut a bit and you're gonna attach those onto the sides hopefully i'm making sense i'm really sorry if this is not making sense but yeah attach the, those to the side all right so next that we're paying attention to this back area so i'm gonna explain this with the instructions so basically as you can see i have this thing so it's 13 by uh, i believe it's 13 by 5 centimeters you're gonna make a 13 by 5 centimeter rectangle so now you're just going to make mark um, half centimeter all the way down. You're just going to mark little points all the way down, as you can see. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so what else? Okay, so then um, at so the first half point, you're just going to um, you're just going to cr uh, first half the, the first two half points across. You're just going to have a curve all the way across, and then you're going to go half a centimeter inwards at the one centimeter mark. And then you're going to make another one centimeter going across on each side and then a curve connecting those two. Hopefully this is making sense. Okay, so now on the bottom one, you're going to basically do the same thing. Except you're just going to have these two lines going across from the point of one half centimeters all the way to the um, top one, which is at one centimeter. And you're just basically going to repeat this all the way going down. Each one should take up a space about one centimeter, except ignoring the curves that are made by the top panel on top of it. And you're going to kind of want to highlight this so it looks like it's more three-dimensional. Because in real life it was more three-dimensional. Well, not one straight piece. But I couldn't be. Um, but yeah, so you're just going to highlight that a bit. So here we have it. So you're just going to want to have this on the top. So you have these cylinders which you're also going to want to attach to it. So as you can see, you have these little circles. Which you will find on the instructions which you're going to want to attach to the little rectangles. Sorry if you can't see this correctly, but yeah, these two cylinders. So a four and a half by three centimeter, I believe. Yeah, so four and a half by three centimeters. Those ones are gonna wrap around the little circles. That of course should create your cylinders. Um, also then attach like your back thing to the um, back, as you can see here. And then further above, you're just going to attach it to the edge of the seven by um, three panel, which I talked about earlier, which just goes across. And then attach your cylinders where you think it should go according, as you can see, like I was talking about. 
Sorry if this is not making much of sense. But yeah, the cylinders go right there, basically. So yeah. Okay, let's talk about this head. So, this is the head of Sir Killalot. So let's take the instructions, as you can see. So you will find that there are these little side panels, as you can see. So, of course, you're just going to follow these correctly. Of course, you're going to run a reverse a bit. But then you're, of course, going to get your curve. One of them is going to be an inward curve, as I just showed. And then a curve on the top, and then a curve on the front. Those two. And then this top panel, you're just going to curve around the front of the robot. As you can see, just across like so. And then you're going to want to attach a little bit of card to the back of the head. Let me show you that. So hopefully you can see the card here. This, that little card, that should reinforce the head quite a bit. And yeah, you're just going to want to attach it on... And then you're going to want to attach your head. So you attach some tape to the lip of the head. And then just bend it onto the chest so it can attach. And then, um, and so yeah. Um, then on the back, you're going to attach some tape to the little piece of card that you attach to the back. And then if it's still a bit too wobbly, then you're going to want to attach a bit of tape to the sides, like I did here. If it's still a bit too wobbly, you might want to attach some more tape. If it's not wobbly, you can just go on. So on to making the arms, I believe. So you're going to want to start with these panels. So these panels should have holes in them, as I'm showing. Um, those four panels go on the sides, as you can see, and on the opposite side as well. Right here, of course. And then you're going to have this panel, which should be bend bent inwards hopefully as you can see on mine hopefully this kind of makes sense so yeah have your that panel bent um then on the top of course you have this little panel the um one by and one quarter centimeter panel by one one quarter that's a square so one and one quarter square um then of course there's this little triangle going all the way from the top of the square all the way down to this little, like point where it bends and then, of course, you're also going to have these two triangles on the sides, like so, on the thing. And you do that twice. So, hopefully, that makes sense. So, onto the arms. So, the arms are made up of these, like, um, these arms, as you can see on the instructions. And then those two, which you should just connect um, on the corresponding length to get the arms. You're just going to attach those. And then you're also going to have the, like, one and a half by one and a half side areas, of course. Hopefully, I'm making sense. Just kind of base it off what I'm showing you. I'm sorry if this is really confusing. Oh, I forgot to mark this as well, my bad. So yeah, you want four of those and just attach two on each one. And then the one and a half on the top, one and a half squares on the top of each, because you should have four of those. So next, on to the little circle thingy. So the circle thingy, which I created, is made up of the... of these little things. So you're going to have four of those. So... Yeah, I forgot to mark that. Again, I'm really sorry about this. So four of those, and then this thing going across this, like, long strip, which should go all the way around this, like, circle thingy. And uh, I, it's probably some kind of name. It's an octagon, my bad. So, yeah, you're going to have to go around the octagon. So then you're going to make a lance, which you're just going to stick some holes through the octagon so that you can stick a lance through it. So I made my lance out of Legos. You're just going to be made out of basically anything you want as long as, I want, as, long as it works, and maybe it looks real. Uh, it looks accurate, but it doesn't have to be accurate, so yeah. Okay, next up, how to make the useless um, claw. So the claw is made of those two things, of course, as you can see. Those ones are basically just going to attach to the octagon. And they're just going to make a hole going running through the little thingies, and then the uh, holes running through the claws. And then take a toothpick or something like that, and just run it through all four of those panels to create your claw. It won't be that powerful, but you could adjust it to make it better working. But that's basically how you make the claw. Okay, so take your um, side arms and attach them through the hole like so. And for the fifth time, basically, the claw is useless, but I'm really happy with this model. Also, size comparison, X and rapid, very large. This robot is super large. So yeah, I'm really happy with this model. Did not enjoy building it, though. But thank you for watching, and have a great day. Goodbye.